I want to talk to you about a dark and disgraceful period in Alberta history that we were reminded of this week with the death of Lalani Muir. In 1959, when she was 14, she was forcibly sterilized under the province's Sexual Sterilization Act. And that act actually came into effect in 1928 under the premiership of John Edward Brownlee. And then that act continued on under Richard Reed, who was premier. And this is part of something that was happening back in the 20s and 30s. Governments were experimenting in some areas around the world with eugenics, a way of sterilizing those people deemed to be defective or unfit to have children. Well, Alberta continued with the law under William Aberhart, Bible Bill Aberhart, actually enlarged the scope of the law to actually sterilize even more people. And after the Second World War, when other jurisdictions began repealing their own eugenics laws because of what they had seen happen in Nazi Germany, Alberta just kept on sterilizing its young people deemed to be defective under Ernest Manning and again under Premier Strom. It wasn't until the Conservatives won, 1971, under Peter Lougheed, that he then scrapped the eugenics laws in Alberta. When Ralph Klein was Premier, Lalani Muir sued the Alberta government for her forced sterilization. And in 1995, she won over $700,000 in a court settlement. And that prompted Klein then to bring in a law in 1998 that would limit the rights of sterilization victims to sue the province. That was on March 10th, 1998, but it took just one day for Alberta's NDP opposition to shame Klein into withdrawing that act. And he allowed the lawsuits to go ahead. And a year later, the province apologized to the victims and there was an out-of-court settlement. And so Lalani Muir opened the door to that settlement, opened the door to the victims getting some form of compensation and righting a wrong. And this week in eulogies, she's been called a hero and that certainly is true. I'm Graham Thompson with the Edmonton Journal.